Creating a high-performance culture within an organization is essential for fostering growth, innovation, and long-term success. When leaders prioritize this goal, they set a stage for a more engaged and productive workforce. There are numerous ways to cultivate a high-performance culture within an organization. So today, I'm going to share with you my five top approaches based on my perspective. Approach number one. Get to know your team at your fingertips. It is important for leaders to take the time to understand each team member as a person, not just as a resource. For example, you can schedule a one-to-one -one conversation with each team member to understand what are their strengths, their motivations to achieve their own goals. Therefore, you can ensure that you are putting the right people in the right seats. Approach number two, reflect on team performance. Leaders can schedule time with their own team members to reflect on what is working well and ask them for suggestions about what can be improved so that everyone can envision and focus on a positive future rather than a failed past. This is an idea of Fit Forward by one of the executive coaches, Marshall Goldsmith, whereby he talked about in his book called What Got You Here Won't Get You There. Approach number three, set clear expectations and reward good performance. As a leader, it is crucial to communicate regularly with your team about the organization vision and goals and also encourage positive behaviors for them to work towards achieving that vision. Recognizing your employees' efforts by rewarding them regularly, not just only once a year, can make a significant difference in terms of their behaviors and attitudes. Approach number four, let the team own the problem-solving process. When your team faces a problem, you may consider coaching them instead of advising them to give them the solution. This will empower them to take ownership of the problem and cultivate growth when they can figure out it themselves using their own ideas. Approach number five, build trust and psychological safety within your team. You can create a safe environment for your team members to share their ideas, opinions, and concerns so that they start to feel more comfortable to share their vulnerability to you. To make it more effective, you can lead by example and model vulnerability-based trust. This helps to foster an environment for your team members to rely on one another for guidance and support. So those are the five approaches which I believe that leaders can cultivate a high-performance culture. As a famous quote by Simon Sinek says, a culture is strong when people work with each other for each other, and a culture is weak when people work against each other for themselves. Until then, I'll see you in my next video.